What's going on guys? I wanted to introduce you to my book that I recently wrote, an illustrative introduction to algorithms. If you go to amazon.com and search for my name, Dino Kajic, you'll be greeted with this page that has a bunch of little toy dinosaurs, I'm assuming because my name is Dino. But the most important part are the first two links, an illustrative introduction to algorithms, Kindle edition, and the paperback edition. Of course, you can purchase either or. But clicking on the Kindle edition, you'll be greeted with the page where you can look inside. So clicking on look inside, you'll be able to go anywhere from the big old complexity all the way down to almost starting quick sort. Uh, there's a brief little introduction, introduces you to the big old complexity, shows you a few examples of lower bounds, the master theorem, the boring stuff. And then we start with the more visual algorithmic portion of the book, which is basically how the remainder of the book is written. So we start off with bubble sort. As you can see, everything is visual. I spent quite a bunch of time trying to make this as easy to follow as possible. Going through the bubble sort chapter uh, is pretty effortless. Uh, insertion sort also starts off with a brief little introduction. I try to skip as much heavy text as I can and focus on photos. I believe people learn visually. So going through the insertion sort, as you can see, it's it's pretty thorough on how this one works. Divide and conquer describes a brief little introduction on that. The merge sort shows you how everything basically splits apart, and it comes back together to sort uh, the list. The last chapter is quick sort. As you can see, quick sort has a bit of a more thorough introduction, just because it we do start getting into a little bit more complex of an algorithm. We'll start going through this chapter, but the preview ends pretty abruptly after that. If you search for a book on algorithms on Amazon, there are hundreds upon hundreds of different books that pop up. So why was this book written? Well, this book was written to fill the gap that exists when computer science students and programmers attempt to learn and analyze the different algorithms that currently exist. I took a course on algorithms and was thoroughly disappointed in the type of material that's currently available. I kept running into two different types of books. Uh, first was the overly complex book. This book seemed like it was designed for people that are already fluent in the topics and wanted more detailed and mathematical approach to algorithms. Second was the overly complex book. This was just a basic introduction to algorithms, a very high level overview of some algorithms, and most complex algorithms were not even mentioned. After completion of this book, the reader is still incapable of showing how the algorithm runs when the problem is presented. So this book is designed for undergraduate upper class students and programmers that want to expand their horizon. It can be used as a supplementary book alongside a complex book. Readers will gain the knowledge necessary to solve those mathematically intensive algorithms problems that were presented in the complex book. Each chapter consists of a brief description of how the algorithm works, followed by a detailed example or two. No steps are skipped during the traversal process. The reader is presented with a clear, simplified approach to solving the algorithm that the chapter is dedicated to. Each chapter follows a natural progression from the previous chapter. And if certain algorithms rely heavily on prior knowledge, the previous chapter covers that topic. So for example, Kruskal's algorithm relies heavily on prior knowledge of minimum spanning trees and greedy algorithms, and each of those topics receives a chapter of its own. This book was written because I could not find a book like this that just basically clearly expressed all the different algorithms that are currently available in a very graphical and easy to follow form.